If you think those Boston Dynamics robots are scary, I reckon they're gonna get a lot scarier. Check this out. Hey, brother. How are you doing? All right. Handshake today. Yeah, like old school business like. Formal, formal as deep. Tell me, did you see the dog? Boston Dynamics oh. dog? <laughs> Boston Dynamics dog. Mate, oh, fuck. every month there's another Boston Dynamics horror film. Isn't there? They're horror films, Tommy. What are these things? Why are they making them? I think they've got military. Is it's got to be the primary reason? Isn't it clear that the U.S. and other governments would rather have robot soldiers out there fighting? Talk about virtual war. Fearless, scalable. Robot. So what have they had? They've had the dogs. Yeah. They've had the universal soldier running through. Yeah. The crazy soldier. They've, they've had, had a little bit of spider action. Yep. Didn't they have like the jumping? <laughs> No, they're doing like the hurdles. Yeah. They had that scary dog that opened the door as well and ran up the stairs. Yes. They had the flipping robot guy, That's gymnastics terrible. robot guy. Got them all. Got them all, every shape. We're seeing that is taking a quantum leap forward, isn't it? Every time we see them, they're becoming, they look like they're becoming more agile, faster, stronger, more beautifully engineered. Yeah, they're looking, well, they're looking more and more like species, aren't they? I mean, they're made, <laughs> no, they're made of metal and, and, you know, they're put together in a way that, where their ergonomics, the way they bend and they have limbs and, and they've got, they actually, there's a term for it, they call it the origami code. Right. And the origami code is everything in nature, whether it's trees or plants or humans or animals, they all have a folding mechanism where they can change their shape with their limbs. Right. And so they all tend to follow that code. It's biomimicry. It replicates the way nature works because nature has three billion years of evolution up its sleeve. So sure. it sort of knows what works. And as far as knowing what works, you've seen those humanoid robots, right? Yes. Sophia, there's been a couple... Uh... So Sophia is probably the most famous one. I mean, she's that yeah. famous now. She's she's with uh, Jimmy Fallon. That's right. On the Tonight Show, Jimmy gets a little bit of Sophia action. But it's obvious questions. that it's a humanoid. Yeah, so well, they're, they're, they're these two different robots. So you've got the humanoid one, yeah. which looks, it's, it's soft exoskeleton, skin, eyes, emotions. So you see Sophia when she blinks. Yeah, it kind of like that. you and yeah, it smiles. Yeah, like a, a sex doll that blinks. <laughs> this this is a family show. Look, I just want to let everyone know we've got a family show here. And what Tommy did, I mean, I, I just I feel like that's inappropriate. I mean, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> the Boston right. Dynamics Engineering and Performance is going to meet that subtlety, that human component and I feel it's inevitable that they're going to become indistinguishable between us biological beings and these robotic beings. Yeah so we put the soft outer shell over the hard exoskeleton. Yep. We're basically on our way to building a human, like a fake human that yep. can perform like a human with the arms and the legs and the strength but better. Yep. And with the body that looks like a human and behaves like a human but yep. smarter. That's right. And it's taken us how many years to do this? Hundreds of years. It only takes nine months to build a real human, though, doesn't it, Tommy? It's more fun. That's right. You don't have to learn fun. physics or anything. I mean... <laughs> but we are not good at a lot of things. So if you're going to replicate us, why would you engineer those weaknesses? I.e., why wouldn't you put eyes on the back of our head? That's, that's actually the strange thing. The strange thing is we're building robots that have arms and legs that look like us, but just stronger arm and legs. And they have, like eyes where they see in the brain and they, even with the Sophia robot it's inside the head is where the CPU is yeah. which I reckon is kind of strange if you're trying to build around our weaknesses why are we replicating ourselves I don't get it and I think that there are designs that would do a lot of things better than we would we're almost there's a Japanese fellow who uh, a good robot of himself replicated himself That's now is that wait a minute just stop there <laughs> he's replicated himself I mean, how megalomaniac do you have to be to build a version of yourself? That's me, dude. That is my clone me. It looks a lot like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's almost scary. It Actually, I reckon later, for sure, the delineation of is this a real person or a robot is going to become a thing. And that's why I think, which I used to totally not think this, I think robots should have rights because later we won't be able to tell the difference. And when that happens, you have to give things that are live or not live the same rights because what if someone killed and says, I thought that was Tommy Robot, I didn't know it was real Tommy. 